We're making pizza napoletana, Neapolitan pizza at home that you can make also using the traditional pizza recipe from Naples dating back to 1800s. There's so many different uh, people uploading uh, homemade Neapolitan pizza recipes. How is your different? How is mine different? Sure. First of all, I use different flour. A different, I use a Neapolitan flour, pizzeria flour. It's called Selezione Casillo. Sometimes I also use uh, Antimo Caputo. But the world champion pizzaiolos or the world champion pizza makers will tell you in their YouTube videos that if you want to make a pizza, Neapolitan pizza, at home, you kind of have to use some sugar, some oil. In Neapolitan pizza, all it calls for flour, salt, water, and yeast. That's all. It's very important how you take out the pizza dough from your container. You want to Put your spatula or your scraper in flour, okay? And then with one movement, just transfer it on, like that, okay? Got to be very delicate with this dough. Press it down in the middle, going from the mid, mid inside towards the outside edges. Turn it over, put it on the, in the, on the flour. And then work on the other part of the yard, unfloured surface. Slapping the dough. You don't need that much flour. Dust it off. But be delicate with it. It has to form an outside crust. Start from the middle. The middle has to be thin, right? And then start slapping it. Stretching it from the, with the left hand like this and stretching it. So how many hours do you usually rest this pizza before using it? Maybe. The longer the better. The longer the more digestible it is, but uh, I usually rest it for eight hours. Eight hours at room temperature. Eight hours at room temperature using very little yeast. Okay. Uh, four hours I use for the bulk amount. If I'm making five, ten pizzas, for all the flour that I need to make that amount, four hours. And then I divide the dough and then you form them into balls of dough for individual pieces of dough and then you rest them another four hours so about eight hours using this dough but you can also refrigerate it use you know keep it there for 24 hours 72 hours some people do now you just at this point you want to make sure that it's gas is evenly distributed okay so what are some main key factors of uh, doing the whole Homemade pizza? pizza? Well, time, temperature, the yeast, the kind of flour that you use, definitely. So you absolutely need to invest time and be patient with it. Um, so for example, if you use a um, particular flour like Selezione Casillo that I, you, I use, uh, I usually let it rest for eight hours at room temperature. The longer you rest it, the better it's going to be, the more digestible, the lighter the pizza is going to be, it's not going to feel heavy because it requires very little yeast. And the techniques, the timing, okay, the temperature of the oven, kind of what oven kind that of you oven use. Do you what kind of oven do is I use? Special or regular? So you can also work. Uh, work on you know these same results with your home oven conventional oven but i would definitely recommend getting this oven okay because it goes to 700 degrees fahrenheit which is 370. pizza craft it's done by pizza craft and it's called pizzeria pronto i'm 
Okay. That should be it. Take it onto your tray. And now we're going to add some... We're going to start with some white truffle oil. White truffles, some mushrooms, some cream. This is the real deal. Not easy to find. Straight from Italy. Try to spread it everywhere. Then we're going to add some cheese, some fontina cheese. And some mushrooms. Now we're going to make sure that this doesn't stick. And we're going to put it in the oven. We can extend it at this point a little bit, stretch it. Right before you put it in the oven. And then that's it. There you go. 700 degrees. Inside the hole. Doesn't get any hotter than that. And this should be done. There's our beautiful pizza. Pizza Napoletana. Look at that crust. It's missing that arugula. Here's our fresh arugula, guys. This is my favorite pizza nowadays. This is my trending pizza. The trending pizza in our household. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drizzle some white truffle oil. 100% white truffle oil, organic. And it's also quite a rich meal here. A very rare one, a specialty one. Some specialty ingredients. This homemade pizza is restaurant quality. Specialty premium quality pizza that I want you guys to share to make at home. So don't forget to like, share, and comment. And now we're gonna cut into it. Here's our pizza. We're going to analyze how restaurant quality it is. Okay, everyone, look at this pizza, homemade pizza. Crispy on the outside, and look at how airy it is inside. That's the cornicione, that's the crust. Very light, very little yeast used. All right, I have to be the judge before I let you guys share. Wow, fantastic. You have to try it at home. Thank you, guys.